How is it going, guys? Well, again, yeah, we're going to be talking about malignant tunnels. Uh, those are the ones that are going to be giving you not only good weapons for your alts, but at the same time, they're going to be giving you good hearts for your alts as well when it comes to leveling. So the weapon, it will require level 60, but it is going to be item power 800. So this is like almost as good as it gets in this game, and you can wield such a weapon from level 60. Um... The difference between the Ancestral and the Sacred, as far as I know, the only thing is literally just the item power. So like Sacred was capped at 700 and Ancestral is capable of pushing higher than that. But there is something interesting going on with Varshan right now. I don't know if it's intentional. The World Tier 4 Varshan, the boss inside Millington Tunnel that you can summon with an Invoker. Uh, Torment Invoker of Varshan, I think, is the key. So with this one, you summon him and he's capable of dropping sacred items. He's also capable of dropping ancestral items. What is really weird about him is that he's always dropping item power 800. No less, no more. So when he drops sacred, the sacred item ends up being 800. But with the recent patch, we actually set the item level requirements to 60 for sacred. So now we have an item in our hands that is not only 800 item power, but also requiring level 60. So it's a very, very strong item for level 60, in fact. So if you would like to, you can definitely farm some weapons, some accessories, some armor for your character, definitely. That's how you're going to need to do it. And let's um, let's talk about like what you need to be able to do this also. So first of all, you need to finish the seasonal campaign. You need to fight Vorshan at the end of that story. And he's going to be dropping you an Invoker of Vorshan recipe. In this table over here, in Kyovishad, the Corman's workbench, you can now craft the Vorshan's Invoker, which then you can take this key to World Tier 2 Malignant Tunnel. You can go to, for instance, you can go to this one. This is the one that I usually farm, the Revening Pit. You can go there. At the end, you will find a door. Through that door, you'll be able to find Vorshan, and you summon him in World Tier 2. He's going to drop the key. Well, he's going to drop the recipe for you to be able to craft the Foul Invoker this time. The Foul Invoker is going to be able to, you know, you go back to World Tier 3 this time. You go back to Revening Pit, and now uh, with the Foul Invoker, you kill him there, and he's going to be dropping the Torment Invoker. Guess what? You go to World Tier 4. Now you can summon the Ultimate version, basically, and he's going to be able to dropping is going to be able to drop two items, as I said, that are going to be uh, 800. On top of that, he's dropping two hearts. Another thing that I'm going to be mentioning in this video before calling this out is that, like, in World Tier 3, if you go to this revening pit over here, this one, uh, right on the western side of Kyogishad, if you go there and farm this in World Tier 3, most of the hearts... If not all, most of the hearts that you're finding are requiring only level 5, even though their, their item powers are quite high. So if you look at this one over here, this is like a very, very decent item to level up with. Like I just put this into my bank, I create a new cake set, level 5 I'll be able to put this into an equipment. And um, yeah, I'm going to be having some fun with an ultimate proccing, basically. It's going to be very, very fun, yeah. So there's another one right over here, which is like crit damage, but you deal less damage if you're not critting, etc. Like, so if you would like to farm a specific heart for your alt, this is the best way to go, in my opinion. With your main, you go to the Revenant Tunnels, Malignant Tunnels, at World Tier 3, though. Otherwise, the requirements, uh, level requirements are going to be too high. Hopefully, you found this video uh, useful. Please remember to subscribe and like, and I'll see you next time.